All right, listen here. We're going to unbox this scholar box, try the supplies, do the challenge, and create something we like. That's right. We're going to like the art. Here we go. Let's get into it. Okay, let's get our supplies out. Oh, things are flying. Things are being spoiled. And let's just get Ding Ding into it. We have our adorable print. I love that. And the artist. We've got three pieces of paper, but we're gonna stick one right here so we can try the supplies. Who knows if that's the right side? I sure as heck don't. So we have our candy. We've got fruits, glacier, 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 what? And our supplies, here we go. All right, okay. <laughs> okay, so starting off with our list, um, our paper is Norfolk cartridge paper, 210 GSM. All right, we're gonna start off with our Pilot Friction, Friction Ball Medium. So let's just get into it. Ooh, it's an erasable pen. Now I'm very curious as to, you know, how it goes. Let's just do some scribbles, do, 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 do. Oh no, I messed up. Oh wow. I will say though, it doesn't look like the pen can get a very deep, deep black purple. It just looks like, I'm sorry, did I just say purple? That was weird. The pen can't get the deepest of blacks. It is a very dark gray color. So that is something to take into consideration, but I bet these are really good for sketching. I'm just going to keep pronouncing this as friction. Next we have the Pilot Friction Light Soft Erasable Highlighters. Ooh, all pastel and, and cute. I can definitely see myself sketching with all these supplies because I am trying to sketch more with pen. Oh, these are not pen. These are highlighters. Why did I? I'm not here today. An erasable highlighter. Now my interest is peaked. You can get thin lines, you can get thick lines. After I swatch all of them, we're gonna test and see how they erase. They definitely look weird. Like they don't look like a highlighter. They look thick. Like it looks like I'm actually putting something on top of the paper or as a highlight. A highlighter is usually ink that gets soaked into the paper. So I'm curious to see how these go. I do really like these pastel colors though, especially this sea foamy green. I love sea foam green. Okay, so for those of you who have seen my eraser videos from Japan, Friction was an eraser I used and I can, I'm very familiar with this plastic texture. So I, oh, does it need to dry first? I'm not really sure. I am curious to see how it works with an actual product that it's supposed to be used with. All right. Um, Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. It's gone. Let's just go right through the middle. Oh, okay, you know what? I'm impressed. I'm impressed, okay. Wow, that's really interesting. I do, w oh, wait a second. That was an interesting effect. I feel like I need to get my phone in here and get it close up. Look at, if you just lightly go over it, it's like heat activated or something. That's really interesting. If you press down and really go for it, it goes right away. Wow. They all seem to erase equally well too. Wow. Okay, these are pretty cool. Ooh, I'm actually getting kind of excited about this. Okay, well, that that's those. Next up, I'm not super excited about this. We have a Sharpie Fine Permanent Marker. It's a Sharpie. What else is there to say? I think most people are pretty familiar with Sharpies and how they work. It's a Sharpie, look at that. Much darker than the erasable pen, of course. Next up, the Sharpie Ultra Fine Permanent Marker. So basically it's a Sharpie with a finer tip. I guess good for inking smaller details. And our last supply is the Pentel Paint Marker Extra Fine Point. Extra fine. Do we need to pump it or do anything? Probably. Read directions? Who does that? Oh, look, it came out pretty, pretty quick. It's silver. This reminds me of Easter, even though this is the December box. I have a very Eastery feel to this. I forgot, we also have the sticker and then some sort of uh, New Year's resolution thing. I don't know what this is, but here it is. 
Okay, I'm actually pretty excited to try these materials. These are really cool. I, I kind of really want to play around with sketching with these every day. And then, I don't know, the Sharpies are, they're Sharpies. So yeah, let's see what the challenge is and then they get to creating something. We have pastel petals, so something flowery and floral. Here we go. Oh my. All right, so pastel petals. I do wanna take some inspiration from the artist of the month and Pellegrino at Spot Girl Design. Her drawings are just so fun and silly and they just fill the page and they're simple, but also there's so much detail there. There's just so much to look at. And that really reminds me of my ant drawings. They're simple, but there's so much to look at. So I kind of want to take inspiration from her and I don't know, just draw something where there's just a lot going on. It's simple, but detailed, if that makes, if that makes any sense. So let's just get into here and draw something simple, but fun, full of detail. Let's get something with some action. Let's have someone running. Okay, so judging by these proportions, I guess I'm going for a child. <laughs> what a big head. Okay, so we've got a kid, or a kid's head anyway. We don't really have a full kid. Um, let's see, they could be running, so. Let's see, when you run, your arms do this. Actually, let's have them running away. So their arms are gonna be outstretched. Let's see, babies got, babies are thick. Like they're, babies are thick. Uh, in the butt, the butt, and um, the <laughs> ba babies are thick. Babies are thick, like in the butt, the bottom. They're bottom heavy. Like, let's be honest, babies are bottom heavy. Also, babies can't run, but this is a magical world of this drawing where this baby can definitely run. Okay, cool. So that's pretty cute. We have a baby running. Um, Heck, let's make it a naked baby. I'm kind of like into this naked, naked baby. Give it boobs, cause babies are fat. Give it a butt, cause babies are thick, according to me. Oh man, I never know what I'm going to end up drawing, I swear. Sometimes you just have to draw a naked baby, apparently. All right, um, okay, so I want to take inspiration from the featured artist where there's just stuff happening so like a lot of things so i want there to be like an explosion of like maybe their hair they're growing a lot of hair and there's like objects in it and stuff is exploding so let's do that now i don't know if this pen is going to be able to handle uh like a sharpie mm, sharpie going over it that's a test i did not do so i guess i'm just gonna have to sit here and hope that that can happen or I can maybe like lighten up the sketch by erasing it and then putting Sharpie over it. I'm afraid that Sharpie is, something's gonna happen to it. I almost like tried to wipe away eraser dust, but there is none. It's just kind of being wiped away. Oh my God, that baby booty. Look at that baby chunk. He's so chunky. Or she, I, I don't know. Uh. I don't know these things. Okay, so for the sake of the length of the video, I didn't include me doodling things, deciding I didn't like it, and then erasing all of it. Basically, I didn't like how all the objects and things were overlapping. I want them to be more like pieced together. So I erased all of it and we're gonna try again. That's okay. That's okay, it's totally okay. <laughs> Okay, so there were a few things I did like. I liked how I had a snake in their hair. I thought that was kind of silly. So let's just re-put that in there. All right, so now I just want to piece a bunch of things together like flowers and things, other things. <laughs> so descriptive. So there's a flower. Um. There's a flower. I want to do a cactus somehow. 
So let's see. There you go, cactus with a flower on it. Um, I know this is December's box, but flowers and pastel colors and stuff don't really give me a very wintry vibe, huh? They're more of, it's more of a spring thing, huh? I'm learning that I'm not very good at filling in space with things, so this isn't, oof. This is not, not my jam. Okay, so now that I've got, I want to call this my sketch, but like, I don't know how the heck I'm going to erase this uh, lightly enough to put Sharpie on top of it. Uh, ooh. This was probably a bad idea. I probably should have used a pencil. Okay, so as you can see, maybe kind of the pen doesn't 100% erase, so I can still see quite a bit um, of stuff, but let's get inking. I am already reminded of why I don't really like to use <laughs> Sharpies to line things. It is just, it's spreading so much. And that's not fun. I don't, I want my line art to be crisp. I don't want my line art to be fuzzy. I guess I would add a really interesting soft texture if you were doing like an animal or something, but I'm drawing a baby. I don't want my baby to look hairy. Okay, so I had nothing to say while I was inking that. I said zero words. <laughs> So yeah, didn't miss anything. I filled in the hair and I was thinking about how I was going to go about coloring this. Just to make it a little more interesting, I guess. I was thinking about, I really like the way you can just erase those clean erase bits. Like I think it's so cool how cleanly these markers erase. I'm just, I'm just so impressed. So I thought I might play around with that a little bit. So I was thinking about Maybe the color in their hair is disappearing and the color in the world is disappearing. So they are running away from whatever is making the color disappear. So I was thinking about doing that. So I'm just going to color in some floor here because I didn't really like how they were just in the middle of nowhere. And then I'll get to coloring. Wow, I really didn't erase all that much, did I? Oh, it won't erase. Okay, well, you know, whatever. You know, whatever. <laughs> Let's start coloring uh, some things. So number one, uh, that booty is definitely, that booty definitely needs some of this. Just to give this kid some color, they are just very, very white. Let's see, let's give, let's give them some baby blue eyes because they're a baby. Okay, so I'm starting to notice that these markers eat this paper, so I'm getting scared. All right, um, I'm going to start coloring, coloring things. It's so fun just to color right over this without worrying about reactivating or the color doesn't really go over the black, so that's nice. You just go over it. It's kind of like a coloring book. Interesting. Oh gosh, I tried to layer the pink and the purple and ooh, it just kind of killed the paper a little bit. Can I make an orange? Oh, I said not to layer them. Ooh, I'm scared. Oh, 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 oh. Kind of made an orange. I can feel the paper not wanting to do it though. Let's get a purple flower over here. You know, if you ever have trouble getting a smooth flat down, just turn it into texture. That looks like the snake has scales, huh? Oh, I love, I love the texture of the snake. That was really fun. Makes me want to see if I can't do something like that for the cactus. Give it some needles. Okay, so it doesn't look as good as our featured artist, but it's still pretty fun. Well, it didn't work perfectly, but I do think it was an interesting concept. This kid is running into the color away from the black and white world, and you can see it kind of taking over their hair. Maybe not the best, um, but I don't know. It was fun, I guess. Uh, I don't know how I felt about this. 
It was really interesting playing with these erasable markers. I think these were really cool and I kind of want to play around with just sketching with them. Not a fan of the Sharpies as usual, but you know. All right, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Hold up, almost forgot. I didn't use the silver pin, which is fine. We can just add some, I don't know. So, whoops, didn't use it. I'll just add some silvery things here and there. Uh, definitely a cop out, but when you forget about a thing, uh, what else are you supposed to do? Did it add anything? Uh, no, at this point, I'm just kind of throwing it in there just to say that I used it. Whoops. Okay, I'm for real done this time. Goodbye.